I do believe that there is misinformation and uh, it could be very difficult to sort through what's true and what's not because all of it looks very believable but the slightest thing that they could mention or exaggerate could be very critical for other people. The reason why I tend to prefer Twitter to get my news is because it's more accessible. I don't really have time between homework and school to sit down to watch news. So I kind of just scroll through my Twitter, see the memories, see what other people are talking about. Besides accessibility, I feel like another reason why we've drifted more towards Twitter to get our information is that our generation has lost faith in the news to provide an unbiased, uh, more diverse opinion piece. I have shared misinformation. Um, recently in San Antonio, there was a gas crisis where everyone thought we would run out of gas because of Hurricane Harvey, but um, it was actually just caused by the panic that people like caused when they all drove to the gas stations and the gas stations couldn't keep up with the influx of people wanting gas. And um, I remember that day I, w I walked outside and I was like, hey guys, you hear about the gas crisis? And I helped contribute to the like man-made gas crisis. I think the easiest way to solve misinformation is really just checking your sources and checking your articles. Nowadays people see a story on Facebook or Twitter and they really just kind of think that it's all factual and maybe the story came out 10, 15 minutes ago. Um, and then when you share that with your 500 followers or 500 friends, it's really easy for a bunch of people just to learn the same story and fully believe it. But I think if we all just check into our sources and make sure everything that we're learning is 100% factual, we shouldn't have to worry about any misinformation.